Francis, um, you didn't need to say this. This this wasn't necessary for you to say. It was. Let's keep it three stacks. This wasn't necessary for you to say, bro. Um, look, bro, mate. So English managers now get disrespected. English managers aren't appreciated more. They're, they're judged harshly. Because, Frank, let's be real. Let's be real. Let us just be fully real and ob objective. You are nowhere being judged as harshly as Sari was. From the moment Sari came in and doing Sari ball and everything, people were, were against him. Let's be real. You have been given a bit of a leeway because of what he did as a player. Something Sari simply wasn't. And that is why people still have an issue with Rafa Benitez. Because especially people who never played the game or had any playing career, you are under even more pressure to prove your, your, yourself. Especially when you're not English. When you're not non-English, people are, are like, well, who's this foreign guy and, and so forth. And also, I just resent the term invasion. I know how you mentioned everything, but that whole thing of oh, the invasion of quality coaches. Why isn't the word invasion? Like, oh, look, all these foreigners just coming in here just to smash things up. It's like, mate, this isn't the 1800s. This is 2020. We live in a, in a global society. This whole thing, we're like, oh, oh, this is going through. No one cares. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a globalist world. It is what it is. Accept it. So, my thing is, um, for Francis, Frank, why or why? Why or why? That's what I want. Why or oh why do you feel the need to say that you're being judged differently? And why do you feel the need to be flying the flag of English managers? Because let's just be real. You're not the guy to be flying the flag of English coaches. That is someone like a Chris Wilder who has done an amazing job for Sheffield United, you know, because that's the guy who, like, whoa, this guy's a damn good manager. If anybody, it's that. So let's say... Just for Lampard, you just got here. One season at Derby County, and you only got a job because of your uncle. It's just really you only got a job because of your uncle. And you only got this job for, for Chelsea, not due, not due to merits, not based off your CV. You got this job because you are a Chelsea legend. If you're not a Chelsea legend, there's no way in hell Abramovich is hiring somebody after, for, after spending one year with a team in the championship. That's not happening. <laughs> okay, so just so I just need to just think about that. Do you really think you'd get the Chelsea job if you weren't a Chelsea legend as a player? Heck no. Who the heck? Which top tier Premier League club is hiring a manager after one season of management in the championship? That's on, on, on ahead of that. That's not happening. <laughs> it is simply not happening. So Frank should just, I just think you just, you know, and just count your blessings. Put your head down. Don't say anything. Don't speak and just succeed. Because when you now speak, look at the comments. People are like, what is this guy on? Like, if anything, you're protected because you're Frank Lampard. Because people love your uncle. Your uncle is very well respected. Look, I mean, I always speak the praise of Harry. Harry Redner, who I think is an amazing coach. So people love Harry Redner. But people re respect your, your uncle. And people know what you as a player. People always look to you as a guy. Like, Man, look at what this guy did. The highest scoring midfielder ever so any any criticism that that is being had are from guys who look past that but when you're in front of the media and in front of real, real, real reporters it's fine so i think he's looking at guys like like your boy who are the guys from from from, from the streets who don't care about what you did as a player just looking at what you did as a manager but just think that whole thing of you that's you being english and having to fly the flag of england and so forth Bro, nah, no, shush, 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 silentio, silentio. This isn't about trying to be Mr. England and let us, no. Do your work, do your thing, and then, and then you succeed via them, man. Apart from that, just please, silentio, silentio, silentio. Thank you. Like that vid, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.